They've won three BAFTAs, for heaven's sake, <coughs> entertaining four, us all. Four. Oh, four. 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 Did that happen just in the last break? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? It was, link. it was a great it's link. It was a great link, wasn't it? brilliant link. Yeah, you've yeah. done oh. really well. <laughs> Dick and Dom, they're now returning to the stage at the end of a fringe with a show that's set to be full of fun, laughs, and apparently bogeys. I mean, the casting oh, there's always going to be bogeys. Even though we've, we've hung up the uh, bogeys boxing gloves about, what, 15 years ago now? Yes. We haven't played God. bogeys for that long. But every day you still get it shouted at you in the street. You have bogeys <laughs> boxing gloves and you've won four BAFTAs. And I've worked in news for 20 years and never won anything. No BAFTAs oh. for you. No BAFTAs. Well, you've got, you no got the Barocca anything. today, so you're going to be sharp. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's you need to be sharp. That's energy <laughs> one as well. Party last night. I owe that Barocca. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 you back to the party. Oh, it's uh, great to see you uh, this morning, then. I mean, how how is it venturing out on something like this? Because I imagine, you know, there are audiences that are kind of sympathetic and want mm. to go for a laugh and everything, but sometimes yeah. when you face some audiences, is it a bit tricky and you're thinking, oh, how do we play this one? Yeah, I mean, I think Scotland, generally, we've played up there a few times and the audiences up there are great, so can't wait to be in Edinburgh. First time we've done it, yeah, so... Uh, but we've been out on the road and we've been doing live shows for, what, 10 years now? This, this show's actually... It's, it's, we put it on the posters, it's for ages 5 to 105, so it's yeah. essentially just yeah. a comedy well, show. Well, basically, we've been around so along. long now, we've been going for 23 years nearly, um, that we've got three generations of audiences. <laughs> you know, our oldest audience, what now, is 35, in their 40 30s, years old? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> and they yeah. watched us when they were kids. They've got their own grandkids. <laughs> yeah, but the Edinburgh <laughs> Festival, it is, it's... it's um, you know, all eyes are on you because it's for new talent who are right. trying to break through into comedy and it's for established talent. So really, you're next on the line as well. You've got to be good at what you do if you're established talent because, you know, the reviewers are all there waiting for you. But it'll be oh fine. It'll be fine, won't it? It's what, a fantastic atmosphere. <laughs> I used to work during the Edinburgh Festival, sort of tearing ticket stubs for the likes of Lily Savage, you know, Paul O'Grady when he was first starting out. Yeah, It's fantastic up there. Um, you go up there to lose as little money as possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's, that's the plan. I'm sure you'll be fine. And you're at the McEwen we're, Hall, aren't we're you? We're a massive venue, 900 seater with so underbelly no at the McEwen no Hall. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got to sell a lot of tickets. But the McEwen Hall isn't... That's, that's where I graduated, there, yeah. Is it? Is I know it? I'm qualified. Yeah, right. I've got an MA, I just don't know how to use it. <laughs> so it's Dick versus Dom, yes. get in a boxing ring. We're not going to fight each other. Oh. It's a game show. We split no. the audience, the Dicks, the Doms, fight it out. Games, Loads of games. It's all completely attractive. So when you come along to see the show, you're not just sat watching the show, you're part of the show. It's totally immersive and interactive, and it does get a bit messy towards the end. You would That's expect that from well, This is what I'm worried about, because you've scared people like lovely Rachel Stevens. Oh. She ran off your show, did, didn't she? How do you remember that? that was Many years ago. I'm old. Oh, uh, but but it's one of those shows that you, if you know what we do, expect what we do. Yes. If, if really? you look like a very nice parent who would educate their children well and maybe take them to a, a poetry well, class in Edinburgh, right. you would never throw custard, would you, Kate? I, I'd I never. Mean, Sean's never starting to look nervous. She's as got the we scars. Speak. Actually, I'm having therapy once a week still, but it was twice a week. So <laughs> yes, I don't know if you remember it. I I, I want a bit. You've got to see this moment. Gone. I want a bit Dick and Dom, actually. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We were doing the old oh, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it thrown. <laughs> Some of that. <laughs> Creamy <laughs> mock <mock> <laughs> <laughs> This time in the morning. <laughs> Look at that. Is that the same soup? Can I just say I think it is. It's scrubbed up well now. We need your commentary, didn't we? There's still bits of custard everywhere. Right on your face. Actually, boys, well, I've got some breaking news. We've got a text from Susanna Reek. Good morning, Susanna. Ever the professional watching the show, hanging on our every word. I was in Ibiza with Dom of Dick and Dom. Is there a story to be told? <laughs> oh, Absolutely. Oh. Why are you texting stuff like that in? <laughs> no, there wasn't. We bumped each other in a sweet shop. And you I did. genuinely mean That's true. a candy shop. Sweet shop. It was, uh, and judge, it was raining. Judge, judge in there. It was yeah, raining. Susanna, and it was raining. Oh, yes. And uh, we had a few I drinks. turned up too late and I missed you. Sorry, Susanna. Yeah. You got the drinks in, apparently. She did. Yeah, she very nice. She paid for the drinks. Yeah, nice. She's very Missed canny, it. Susanna, actually. She always pays for the first round and the cab going. But she knows that's all anyone will remember. <laughs> <laughs> actually, she did sneak off early last night, didn't she? She's a clever one. Oh. She's a clever one. Well, talking about how many years you've been doing this, I mean, has there been a sense of you changing, having to change the material you do? Because, of course, mm. we kind of live in different times, don't yeah. we? And I know you've, you, you sort of base it for children, but there are also those jokes that the adults will get at the same time. Well, yeah, there? we were actually asked for Edinburgh, do you want to do uh, something a bit different? Do you want to go a bit later mm. now? But we thought, what's the point of alienating the audience we've been growing for the last 22 years? So we're just mm. going to do the Dick and Dom thing, what people want to see. And yet, the mess has calmed down a bit, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, Health yeah. and safety's changed. Mm. You can't do the things you used to be able to do. I don't think so. I think the rule book's got thicker. People are more cautious. People are a bit more worried. And I think to give us, uh, you know, the free reign to do a live TV show 
uh, on a Saturday morning, I don't think anyone would let us do that. And I think, have we got this picture of you at number 10 in Downing Street? Because, you know, this could oh, yeah, be a sign for the, the future. Day, yeah. I mean, oh, we haven't got the picture, I'm afraid, but oh. there is a picture of you at Downing Boring. Street. Because I was going to say, is, is this the thing that, you know, the Prime Minister's having difficulty sorting Brexit yeah. out at the moment? Well, Maybe we could go different. Slime it out. Slime out Brexit. What? See, you mean the House of Commons, just a massive muckmuck fight. So everyone just gets their buckets and custard like you two did. Yeah. Everyone just goes for it. Wouldn't that be brilliant? No, yeah. Well, it's one way to probably get more results than uh, what's well, happening at the moment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, there you yeah. go. I know. Dick well, it would make PM. even less messy than what's going on at the moment. Just <laughs> <laughs> you horned in a Brexit mention in a Dick and Dom chat. Yeah, yeah that's me. Uh, uh, you know, it's good, good isn't it? it? That, that <laughs> was Charlotte last night with Stanley Johnson starts talking about Brexit. I said, I don't want to talk about Brexit. We're a party. I know. We did talk about the jungle. To be fair, even Stanley didn't want to talk about it. No, he really didn't. I was like, it's so hard I got you here. And you really don't want to talk to Dick and Dom about Brexit. We don't know where that will end up. Oh, no, it's lovely it to is. see you both. Thank Good you so luck in that. Edinburgh. Underbelly, McEwen Hall, 1st to the 12th of August. And you deserve those four BAFTAs. I'm not remotely oh, thank bitter. You. <laughs>